Hey, this is Steve again. I'm just going to do a little more playing on this Ibanez 335 top of line uh, AS103. Pretty sweet box. I've had lots of different Ibanezes over my. I used to be an Ibanez collector of the lawsuit stuff. Boy, I'm very impressed with this guitar. It really has it, man. This is a solid state amp too, by the way. So, uh, this guitar has a lot of body to it. It just has a, a tremendous body. Not real warmed up right now, so excuse that. I just want you to hear the tones on this. It's got some really sweet sounds. And it's it's a uh, it's really got a nice setup on it too. Really, really nice setup and. Uh, because people tell me that they get tired of me always trying to sell them something <laughs> hey I've got a small guitar business what can I say but you know so let's let me just teach a little something here minor seven chord here and then you go to uh, inversion and you do a little, little chord connection principles and these you know you'll always learn how to connect two or three chords together and just keep adding that to your vocabulary so here it is this the 13 7 sharp 9 D minor seven, and then I'm doing I'm doing just a little inversion there with a, on on the low string. I got the C, and then I got the A and the D and the F. Then I come down. Nice little kind of Joe Passy thing. Of course, I love Joe Pass. Practice that in different areas. So my D minor seven, the inversion with the C on the top. So here's this this form here. Then and see what makes this great is the, the common tone right there. See, hear that? And then you come up. This is smooth voice leading because everything. See, everything is so close together. I'm not you know jumping all over the place. Nothing wrong with that. But that's smooth voice leading means everything's nice and close. Small interval skips it makes it sound beautiful. So this is. Anytime you can learn a chord and learn how to connect it to something else, okay? Boy, this is a nice box, man. Wow. It just really has a... Uh, really reminds me of uh, some of the lawsuit stuff. I can always tell a great guitar because I love playing on the treble pickup. If, if, I don't really like the treble pickup. I mean, obviously, I'm playing you know lead guitar. I like the treble, treble pickup. But on like a jazz box or a 335, if I like playing on the treble pickup, that means something because even on the treble pickup, it has body to the tone. And that's really what separates. You know, it has that nice acoustic electric quality. <laughs> 
So today's little lesson was that minor seven to the inversion, thirteen chord, seven sharp nine. If you want, add the bass. You do that in different positions. And once you get that going, then you know, see where you can take it. You know, go somewhere else. Okay. But anyway, just wanted to play a little bit more on this guitar so you can hear it. It really has a nice voice to it. This is a solid C amp, by the way. Really great setup on this guitar, man, I'll tell you. I just love the clean tone of this guitar, though. It just has a wonderful sound to it. Maybe if I back off on this distortion, even on the bluesy kind of side of things here, get a little more of a, uh, you know. Really got a nice tone. So I'm going to stop right there and make this short. I just wanted to give you guys a little, I like to keep sharing information. If you're interested in the guitar, Steve714-548-0385. It's, it's really a beauty. Boy, plays really good too. So that's a Steve. You got my number. Take care. Bye-bye.